current situation for you is Four of Swords in reverse. What's in the shadow position is Ace of Cups in reverse. What's passing away is Page of Cups. Approaching is Page of Wands. And highlighted is the sun. So these are some nice cards for love energy. You've got the sun, which also fi figures a couple here. You've got page of cups, which is about love and passion. And then also ace of cups, which is beginning something new. And I see some of you moving into a maturity regarding love. I'm seeing that with these three cards especially. But I'm gonna talk first about what this card is. This is your current situation. And Four of Swords is usually about rest and relaxation. Um, it's hanging your thoughts up on the wall, taking a break, uh, recharging, you know, basically resting and pausing and, and allowing yourself to take a moment out of the game to just recharge and come in back stronger. Um, with it in reverse, it may mean that you're resisting taking a break or you feel like you can't take a break. Um, alternately, it could mean that you're coming out of taking a break for some of you. But I'm seeing that that being your current situation, you may really, if you haven't just come out of a phase where you were in a quiet, reflective um, time, it may be a time where you really need to take a break, where you really need to just give yourself some retreat time, some sanctuary to reflect on things, to gather your strength. And to take a moment to just reflect, to not be in action mode, um, but to be in sort of a quiet, introspective mode. In reverse, it says there may be some fear, doubt, or resistance. Like you may feel like if you take a break, that everything will fall apart. And I want to encourage you that it not it's not necessarily true. Like there may be ways where you can take a 15-minute cat nap here, or you can take yourself to a spa day, or just even an hour at a coffee shop to think your own thoughts and dream your own dreams. I'm going to invite you, Taurus, to remove whatever fear, doubt, or resistance you're having towards taking a break and recharging yourself. Then uh, what's in the shadow position is Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, Ace of Cups has to do with a new cycle in love. So there may be something happening below the surface that is coming to the surface, just like this lotus that you're not aware of yet. This is new love, new joy, new creativity, new opportunity, new peace, and for some of you, it may be a new love offering. So with it in reverse and in the shadow position, it's, it's saying that you may not see the new cycle in love. It may feel like things are stagnant in that area or that there isn't anything new that if you're in your current partnership that it's kind of just you know, the same old, or that if you're single, that it, things are just remaining the same. But there is new love here coming for you. So I want to just say it's kind of like a seed that may be below the surface, or the the story of the lotus is that it comes up through muddy waters and then comes to the surface and blooms. So I'm kind of seeing that here for you, Taurus, is that there's something that is growing under the surface and coming up to bloom. And aces are always new beginnings, new cycles. And it's really gonna bring you a lot of peace. In fact, the name of this card is My Cup Runneth Over. So just know that, Taurus, that even if you can't see it because it's in the shadow, it's in the unknown position, that there is something deep below the surface that is wanting to bloom for you, either in terms of your current relationship or your current um, status regarding relationship, there's there's something that's coming to the surface to bloom. So I actually really love that, even if you can't see it because it's too much like in the deep waters right now. What I see is passing away is sort of an immature love. This is Page of Cups. And Page of Cups is the younger side of ourselves. Um, potentially too, it could be a water sign. So there may be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer that's exiting. But I see this person as immature. And for you, this means in the passing away position that it's the passing away of an immature love. It's a passing away of a phase that felt sort of like puppy love or just infatuation. And what I'm seeing you evolving into because of your highlighted card is the sun, which is mature love. It's integrated. It's balanced. It's healthy. It's vital. It's joyful. It's, it's radiant. So 
if there's been ways that that you or someone else has been showing up as like petty or immature in terms of love, that's going to be passing away. And what's coming, what's highlighted for you is this wonderful balanced relationship. This can also be balancing within yourself, the masculine and feminine sides within yourself and feeling like a fully integrated person, which also allows you to show up uh, in a relationship more that is more mature and more reciprocal, more mutual, and it just makes everything bloom. And then what's approaching for you, what's coming in is Page of Wands, which is new enthusiasm, new um, motivation, inspiration, it's new energy. So this is young energy too, but it's really sort of like refreshed energy. It really is like, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to pursue this mature love. I'm ready to step into a relationship where things feel sunny, where they feel vital and they feel joyful and full of happiness. And, you know, the sun is such a positive card. It's just full of optimism and growth and, and um, stability. So I'm really seeing Page of Wands here as being... Um, your your motivation, your optimism, your fire for this new relationship. It potentially, it could be a fire sign. So that could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, especially if they're a younger person. But I'm really just seeing this as, as you allow yourself to pause and rest, there's something that's blooming below the surface that's coming up as this immature phase of love passes away and you get reinvigorated as like a new young adolescent that allows you to really participate and show up in this um, radiant, happy, joyful, loving energy. So I'm really liking what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for the other person. So please give me information about the other person for Taurus, whether they're in relationship with this person or they're just interested in this person or it's someone that they would like to invite in. Let's see what's going on with the energy of the other. We've got Fool in Reverse. Shadow position is Seven of Coins. Passing away is Three of Wands. Approaching is Empress. That is such a wonderful card. I'm seeing a lot of yellow here too, which really mirrors your sunny energy here that's highlighted for you. There's really a lot of optimism, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of just sunny radiance. Yeah, even more so. So I see them in a really optimistic frame of mind. And with them coming in in the future as Empress, this is someone that feels like your heart's desire, Taurus. This is someone who is um, really someone that you admire, someone who looks like they have their things together, who is sensual, who is in a nice position. I mean, between Empress and Nine of Coins, this is someone who really is experiencing the riches of life, even as a single person. Um, because Nine of Coins represents the single person. They're actually enjoying their life right now, and they're feeling like they're sitting pretty, because that's something that is true for Empress and Nine of Coins. But there's some sort of res resistance or reluctance that they're having to take, um, that they're wanting to, resistance or reluctance to taking a new step into the unknown. They're having a little bit of fear, doubt, or resistance to having faith and trusting in this new sunny day. It's actually interesting too because the sun is appearing here in their card as well as highlighted for you. So you, your optimism here and your motivation which is coming in, um, they, they might feel like everything's cool just as it is and they they're, they're seeing this new opportunity, this new adventure, this new chapter, this new um, journey. You know, this is the beginning card, beginning of something new. But they're feeling a little bit of trepidation. Like, can I trust it? Can I trust myself? Can I have faith in this? They have a level of fear, doubt, or resistance to embarking on that new cycle, that new chapter. Um, but I see them as very strong and very... Um, content right now. 
So they, they may be considering a new chapter, a new journey, but just not quite ready. Sometimes reverse cards can just mean delay too, but you're here. This is highlighted for you. You're ready for that next chapter, that, that blooming and deepening of this relationship. What's in shadow for them is seven of coins. So really what is showing here is that they're having to have patience. They are evaluating something. They're reassessing something. Often seven of coins means that the time is not quite right yet. And I'm seeing that they may be ready. They may be getting used to the idea of being ready for something new, a new cycle, a new chapter. Um, but that because this is in the unknown, we're not seeing that they're just having patience right now, that they are sort of just pausing and reflecting and reassessing on whether they want to continue putting efforts in the same direction or whether they want to change things up. Right now, they like how things are. And so they may be hesitant to change directions or do something new because they're kind of waiting to collect the um, fruits of all the efforts they've put in so far. They're like waiting for the current crop to be ready to harvest before they do their next step. And that might be why this is in delay, that this is something they're considering, but they're not quite ready to jump off that ledge yet. And what's passing away for them is an inability to vision things, to see the future. This is, this is very tied, this Three of Wands, to the Fool card. Because Three of Wands means envisioning something, um, your ship's coming in, planning for the future, looking ahead, looking forward, looking at what you'd like to create. And they, they may have had some blockages or fear, doubt, resistance to looking towards the future, to seeing what they want to create, to having a vision of what they would like to draw to themselves. But this one is all about stepping into the future. And this is about having faith in where you're going and being willing to go there. So I'm seeing that as this lack of vision passes away or this fear about the future passes away, they may be able to step into something with faith, with excitement, with all possibilities being open and sort of this carefree, um, open heart. So I'm going to just say that they are, they're in a nice place. They're optimistic. You, they may just need a little bit more time because they're kind of reassessing things under the surface. Things are still ripening for them. There's a level of maturing perhaps for them as well as they go from the Seven of Coins energy into Nine of Coins and Empress who are very well established, very comfortable, very, um, you know, both of them are enjoying the riches that life has to offer. So I hope that brings you some clarity, Taurus. I hope that, um, you know, you enjoy all this sunny energy and passion and vitality and just optimism that is really showing up here for you in February.